yeah, it's freaking cold out there and very windy. Don't know if this works with the video. <sighs> but fuck it. I didn't upload in now almost three weeks and I definitely have to do this. and cleaning up my studio space so for this video I just thought I'm gonna go for a walk out here take my XT4 with me and just talk to you for a couple of minutes I didn't really had any time to do YouTube stuff but I went on a trip to Athens and this is like a long-term project or not long-term but it is much work to cut all of this because I have six and a half hours of video material to cut down and around 800 images to edit and I will upload a travel vlog from this whole experience. I think maybe we go around 20-30 minutes in total and yeah. So I've written down some stuff on my phone I wanted to talk about and those are current projects I'm working on and I wanted to give you a quick update how it is at the time with those projects. So in one video I teased that I'm going to do an analog project or two analog projects and both of them are completely edited but I didn't have the time at the moment to develop and scan all my films so I definitely need a faster solution so this week I'm gonna send in the films I shot. I shot about like five rolls of film, some Portra 400 and some HP5 and I just sent it out to a lab where I have very good experience with, get the shit done and then can finally upload the videos after editing the images and the next project is my zine. I've told you that I'm working on a zine and I wasn't quite happy with the end result. I got it done and now I'm changing some things about this zine. So it will take definitely some time more and I have some very nice video ideas upcoming. I don't want to tell anything about it because it's like a little surprise what I'm going to do next. And yeah, maybe go into the flash photography. And one of the points I definitely want to talk about was the Fuji X-T5. Back in the days when I had my Fuji X-T2, I really love this camera and upgraded directly to the X-T4. And then the X-H2 came out and I didn't like how it was in terms of photography. A great video camera, but for photography the analog dials was something I'm really missing. And with the X-T5 they really went in and just let a legend live again. It is just like the X-T3 everyone wished about. And hopefully I get my hands on this camera and a big thanks to Fuji for bringing up this crazy good camera with everything I wished for and which is what is really interesting for me is the new film simulation yeah and that's it if you have any questions drop them down below into the comments and with that have a nice one and see you the next time And I have another tip when you're out just taking a walk don't always bring a camera I would say always bring a camera but sometimes it's good to just go out and take something like a notebook or your phone with you or an iPad something like that to write down things and just write down your thoughts and someday you will thank yourself for writing down this this is how most of my video ideas merge in my head I just take a walk think about things and then I came up with one of the ideas write some things down and when I got home I immediately turn it into a script and then I have a new video.